Hi, everybody. This is Michael Dowling, director of the DeKalb Elementary Science Olympiad. Today, I'd like to talk to you about the event called Egg Drop with Packing Peanuts. This is a variation of the event that's found in the manual, so be sure that you are looking only at the sheet that was provided to your head coach. This is one that has the DeKalb Olympiad called out right there in the year. Sometimes the event rules change slightly from one year to the next, so please be sure you're looking at the most current issue. The task that students are given in this event is pretty straightforward. You've got an egg, you want to drop it. You'd like to have it intact afterwards. No cracking, no breaking, no oozing. The materials that you have provided are relatively simple. We are going to give each student a pile of 20 biodegradable packing peanuts. They look like this. They are made from cornstarch. If you squish them, they are very squishy. Squish. And they stay squished more than your standard uh, styrofoam packing peanut. They do come back into a full shape, but if you squish it hard enough, it will actually stay mashed down more than you might expect. That gives you the ability to design cushioning shapes around your egg. Is another item that you'll have. I've got my egg. This is a fake egg. <laughs> Can you see that? Fake egg. And uh, the fake egg is actually just made from uh, two uh, kind of plasticky balls that I've got inside of this post-it note because it didn't have a real egg and it just needed something about the size. When students receive their egg, it's going to be inside of a cup to help prevent it from rolling off the table. However, the cup may not be used in the structure. The egg itself will be inside of a baggie, and the baggie has to stay around the egg. You will not be allowed to tape anything onto the baggie or modify it in any way. So your egg will be inside. Presumably, students will want to squish the air out. I don't know. Maybe they want a lot of air in it. Uh, if they break the egg when they're doing stuff like this, it's on them. So I'm going to try to get it as wide open as I can and then close it. Maybe that'll be a good way to keep the, uh, the, the egg from getting broken. Other materials include uh, two standard pieces of printer paper, 8.5 by 11. Students will receive a pair of scissors so that they can do cutting if they like. There's going to be a length of masking tape, approximately, uh, let me look at the directions here. I want to make sure I give you the correct number. Um, 30 centimeters. That's just over a foot. I've got my metric uh, meter stick right here. 30 centimeters is that length where my finger is right here. So I'm going to tear off a length of 30 centimeters worth of white masking tape. And the last thing that they are going to have is uh, that's it. Now the um, idea here is you're going to have packing peanuts cushioning the egg and surprisingly it doesn't look like there's a bag for them to go in. So how are we going to do this? That's why you want to practice this one in advance. So I've got my I've got my tape. I've got my egg in its baggie. Remember it stays in the baggie although things could be added to the baggie, right? And uh, I've got my scissors and I've got my paper. Things that you might want to try. Suppose you're looking to make a very secure way of storing the egg using your piece of paper. For example, perhaps I have squeezed the air out of my bag. I'm going to use it merely as a covering for the egg. And I'd like to create kind of a structure around it using the paper. And then I'm going to tape packing peanuts to the outside. So I'd like to make something that holds this. Well, an obvious thing that you might do is curve this around to make a cylinder. So a cylindrical container like that, when dropped, bonk, might give the container a lot of rigidity. And at the same time, it's crushable. If the egg is in the middle, perhaps this will give me the ability to protect the egg. Uh, things that you might want to test. Maybe it will be stronger if we fold the paper in half. So I have in mind here kind of a short stubby example. And as I go about the task of doing my egg in there, I'll want to test it 
to make sure that it fits in, but I don't want to break the egg. If students break their egg before the drop, they do not get another one. All eggs that are cracked or broken before the drop are ranked below everybody else, so don't break your egg. We at the DeKalb Elementary Science Olympiad use pasteurized eggs so that if any breakage does occur, even though it's inside the bag, you don't have to worry about it. It makes, it makes the cleanup a little bit easier. So now what I've got is a little cone, uh, or cylindrical shaped thing rather. I'm gonna take two small pieces of tape. I'm gonna actually tear this one in half, and I'm gonna tape this one closed, and then I'm gonna fold it over the top like that so that it doesn't unroll. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now, I'm not allowed to tape anything to the baggie, so I'm leaving that one alone. Now, my next idea is to take the other uh, material available to me, the packing peanuts, and somehow <laughs> attach these to the outside. And uh, you only have the 30 centimeters of tape, so you don't have a lot of tape here. Remember that you can encapsulate them inside the paper, though. Oh, so that gives me the ability to protect my egg by just shoving them in there. And then as long as I have something, I've got the other piece of paper. As long as I've got something else to cover it up with, maybe I'll be okay without taping things to the outside. I'm going to tape a roughly circular cap onto this so that I can cover up that end, and that's going to be my bottom side. Now, I'm, going to, I'm not going to waste any time. Students have 20 minutes to build before we stop them and start dropping. Everybody has to stop at the same time. I've got something that's roughly circular, circular enough for me. I'm just going to use two very tiny pieces of masking tape to tape it on, like a little hat. So I haven't used the majority of my materials. I have most of a piece of paper left. I've got a lot of tape left. I've only used two packing peanuts, but folks, I'm ready to go. I don't want to, I don't want to waste any more time making you watch this. I now would like to demonstrate to you how we're going to assess the egg containers. This bar up here is at the official dropping height uh, that I've selected for this uh, video. At the ele uh, elementary Olympiad, the bar will be anywhere between two and three meters. To show you how tall this one is, uh, the floor is over here where you can't see it. This is one meter to the top of the stick. This is two meters to the top of the next stick. And you can see that I've got a little bit more space up there. Uh, I have approximately two point, uh, two meters of dropping height here. Now, the Olympiad will have some mechanism so that students can safely access this. I have my ladder that you'll see me open up right here. This bar is going to give me the ability, let me turn it around like this. I haven't quite thought this through. Uh, this bar is going to give me the ability to know where the height is, but it may not be very good at letting students decide where the center of the target is. The center of the target is on the floor down here where you can't see it. When I drop, bottom is going to be right here. And as I let it go, three, two, one, drop, you probably heard it hit, but I don't know if you're able to see that it bounced off to the side. Let me move my camera and show you how far away it moved. So I'm going to roll this over and I'm going to tilt my camera down and what I'd like you to see is where my uh, holder ended up. Do you see it over there? It's hiding just over there by the foot of the ladder. So it landed approximately one foot away. We would assess by measuring from the center of the target that distance. Afterwards, we open up the egg container, look to see if it's cracked, oozing, broken, and assign it a letter, A, B, or C, based on that. If the egg is intact, those eggs are ranked by distance from the center of the target, smaller being better. They are ranked ahead of anything where the egg is cracked but not oozing. Cracked eggs are assessed in order of distance from the center. If the egg is broken, <laughs> those come in last. But you still completed it, and you're ranked above teams that were not able to finish for whatever reason. Maybe they broke their egg even before the drop. And uh, that's the worst case scenario. So as you practice, 
make sure that you don't have somebody on your team who's prone to fumbling the egg. Keep it in its cup, don't take it out, and let it get broken by rolling off the table, for example. The uh, things that you might also want to practice involve uh, trying to mold your packing peanuts into different shapes, just to demonstrate that. I'll get a handful of them, and I'd like to show you that if I mash these together like this, I can twist them together almost like yarn and get longer strands of material. So there is a piece that's been kind of squished together, and if I continue doing that, small pieces of tape would allow me to make a chain-like uh, length of this stuff if I really wanted to. So let me grab a piece of my tape here. I've got a lot of it left, so I can practice all kinds of things. Remember, the goal here is to let your students explore different possible solutions. So there's a piece of tape there. The contrast is not particularly good, so it's hard to see. If I get it closer, you may be able to see it. That's two of the packing peanuts. Let me get a third one on there. And you can actually get some structures uh, constructed out of these packing peanuts. So I've given up some of the squishiness in favor of having something that might have the ability to uh, have some tension in it. Now, how are you planning to use this? I don't know. I'm just trying stuff. That's what we want the students to do, to try different design ideas in advance to see what works best. If you have a stairwell in your school, a high wall, uh, something like that where the students can safely get up near the top and drop, they can probably use fake eggs to assess different aspects of the container without going through egg after egg after egg. That's what I would recommend. Once they think they've got a design that they can quickly make reproducibly that will fit their egg, then you might want to practice putting the egg in there. According to the rules, there are no other limitations on the size of the device. You're limited only by the materials. We don't have a hole that they drop it through. We do not have anything that limits um, the use of the materials other than what they are provided. The limitation of time is probably the most critical. All teams will receive a maximum of 20 minutes. They get a five minute warning. All teams stop construction at the same time. And at that moment, eggs need to be inside the container. So you are responsible for handling the egg, putting it in, and making sure you don't break it as you work towards this goal. Thanks for watching. I hope that you'll enjoy participating in our Olympiad this year.